What up and welcome back everybody. Got another video for you. Cruising home back from work. We stopped at the local card shop, the sports room. Check it out in Beaverton, Oregon, if you're from Oregon. And uh, went in there to get some top loaders and some one touches and just figured I'd uh, give it a shot at some of these hobby packs. Got two of the series two, which I know I've done tons of Series 1, so sorry you have to see some more of this, but Series 2, we're just looking for maybe an O'Neill Cruz <clears throat> rookie card. And we also got the Topps uh, Chrome Platinum Anniversary Edition. Never opened the Topps Chrome, so that'll be the first time opening that. These are All four of these are hobby um, packs, so they came out of hobby boxes. The guy kind of let me pick the, car, the card pack, but I didn't, I didn't really like that very much because it made me more concerned about how many other people were rifling through it before me, but I just was kind of honest and just picked the first couple ones that I saw, so hopefully we get lucky with this. Um, Cole is very. Farmer. Gossman. Zimmer. Roman Quinn. Jacob Robson. Ver Perez. Dylan Moore. Barnhart. Significant statistics. Jorge, Jorge Soler. Average home run distance, 423. Wow, if that's the case, that's crazy. Jorge Soler. Okay, we got Goldschmidt. Baller. Here's the O'Neill Cruz. Wow. Okay, first pack, we get the O'Neill Cruz rookie card, which is nice because uh, that's pretty much... I think he might be better than uh, than Franco will be, so got to look out for him. Big dude, throws hard, very athletic, very fast, pretty much a all-around athletic phenom, pretty much, so I bet he'll do really good, so that's pretty good. That's a good little rookie card right there. It's the best one you can get out of this series, too, so let's see if we can get an auto. Can you imagine? I pull the one auto that comes in a hobby box. All right, here we go. Kukuchi, Daza, Rasmussen, uh, Gwinter, Phillies, Stassi, Powerful Honor. Hmm. That's a new one. Coaster, Future Stars. And a Dansby. Ah, oh, shit. At least we got the O'Neill Cruz, man. Holy crap. That was two really bad packs. No parallels. Had one insert. All the rest base cards. Got some rookies, but <clears throat> we are gonna sleeve and top load this guy. This one could be <sighs> worth something someday. <sighs> There's a big old hair in there. There we go. Okay, O'Neill Cruz, rookie. All right, Topps Chrome, Platinum Anniversary Edition. Let's see what we can get out of here. Ooh, something sparkly. That's good. Okay, Brandon Belt. These are nice cards. Nice thick cards. Kind of like old school retro. Shiny design. Shirtin. Not shirtin about him. And Giolito. And then we got some sort of green. Who's that? Dwight Gooden. Horribly off centered. Look at that, jeez. Cool looking card. Not numbered, it is so off-centered, look at that. All that there and then nothing over here. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Hopefully the whole box wasn't like that, jeez, that's bad. Really off-centered. All right, last hobby pack for the day. Got something chromey. 
Maeda. Oh, I was like, there's only three. There's a Judge. And a Willie McCovey. That one's a lot better as far as centering. That one's actually really good. It's a little bit off top to bottom. Chrome's got some surface issues. <clears throat> There's the two parallels, I guess. All right, so overall, not too, not too good. Um, I think I paid eight dollars a pack for these uh, tops Chrome, and then five bucks a pack for for these pretty overpriced. But at least we got the O'Neill Cruz. Kind of looking for him just to even have him in the collection. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. We will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.